Welcome to Sandwiches of History. It is International Sandwich Sunday and we are headed down Mexico way for the Torta de Milanesa. And uh, this can be made with pork or chicken, or in my case, I'm gonna be making it with beef. Shout out to Edward at the Whole Foods meat counter for slicing some really thin top round for me. I appreciate it. Um, I'm following a uh, torta recipe and a salsa recipe from isabeleats.com if you wanna follow along. Uh, so yeah, first thing we gotta do, make a salsa de arbol. To make the salsa de arbol, we put some arbol chilies in with some water, bring it to a boil, take it off the heat, cover it, and let it sit for 10 minutes. Now we transfer the chilies to a blender, add a Roma tomato cut in half, a of garlic, salt, and water, which we might have to adjust. We just boil that up. First thing we have to do, season up some panko breadcrumbs. We got a little cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, salt, and pepper. So we take really thin slices of top round and uh, dredge it in flour. Then in uh, beaten egg, and then we press that into our panko breadcrumbs. And then we fry it up on both sides. She says to put it on paper towels to drain, but I like to put fried stuff onto a wire rack so it can kind of air crisp. And let me just let it cool for a little bit while we get our, uh, our roll ready. Okay, let's build our torta onto the bottom of a telera roll, which I picked up at the store. We spread on refried beans, sliced avocado, queso fresco, sliced Roma tomatoes, our fried beef, Shredded iceberg lettuce, thinly sliced red onion. Last but not least, our salsa de arbol. And it is spicy, because of course the seeds were left in, as per the instructions. Do you want it uh, less spicy? Take the seeds out. I don't know that it's typically cut in half, but I wanted to show you the glorious cross section that is the torta de milanesa. Whew, it's a big one. Okay, let's give this torta de milanesa a go. Mm. You got the heat and the fruitiness from the salsa de arbol. Um, you got the nice bright red onion, the cr fresh crunch of the lettuce. Then you've got all those great flavors of the spices in the panko breadcrumbs, the creamy avocado, the creamy queso fresco, the sweetness of the tomatoes, and then you got that nice layer of refried beans at the bottom. Mm. I thought about plusing up with a little bit of lime juice, but really the uh, salsa de arbol is bringing all the brightness that I need, and it is just delicious. Yeah, I can't think of anything I want to add to that to plus it up. That is just fantastic. All different textures, flavors, a little bit of heat, a little bit of creaminess. It is just so good. Just enough beef. Uh, and that bread is really nice and light and spongy. Uh, yeah, I don't want to plus this up. Uh, I'm definitely going to finish that eventually because it's kind of big. Uh, and I would absolutely make this again in a hot minute. This is so tasty. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. Welcome to International Blah Blah Blah. <laughs> I are good at things. Welcome to Sandwiches of Sunday. 